Hello Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. This is your extended for today. Okay, so we were talking about determination this morning and we're going to continue that theme. We're going to ask uh, Spirit how this fears determination. Um, what else we can do, how we can help it along. Um, anything that they have to offer, I'm always willing to listen uh, because I think it's very important. They give a nugget of, in, a nugget, a nugget, a nugget of information to everybody who needs it. All right, so I have a giveaway going on, I think, for another couple of days for Pisces because it was our birthday month, or it is our birthday month still for another couple of days. And on the 24th, I'm going to be doing a draw. So first, 10 people who comment, well, they get entered into a draw. And sometimes I add other people, especially if I like their comments. I find that they're engaging, you know, letting me know that you guys are really, you know, here. <laughs> or just because I feel like it. Sometimes I ask a question. So, um... Don't forget to comment. You know, you never know when um, you never know your name may pop up into the draw. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Your support. I have cups for sale. I'm going to have Patreon up soon. That's going to be announced on the 24th. Uh, I also have a PayPal donation link if that interests you. Um, yeah. What else? What else? What else? I have a lot going on now, and I also have like the decks that I use. I put affiliate links in below in the description and in the comment at the beginning so in case you're interested in those we also get a little something but as always your support is what matters to me the most so if you can subscribe hit that notification bell to all all my readings are timeless so if there's anything that interests you or you know grabs your fancy uh go ahead and watch it that's the best way you can offer support by um watching and looking at the ads okay all right so out of this, you have community that's underneath, number 7. I spoke of that this morning, kind of funny. And you have 28. Again, the number 10 was very prevalent this morning in, in all the reading. It's uh, it's very much a completion, okay? You have the victory card here, and you have this uh, wreath, which is also very much part of um, the Six of Wands. So I like that card. Um, it's saying you're definitely on the right path. You're definitely on your way. We had the four of wands this morning as well, which indicates to me that they're just they're just validating that everything is going the way it should be. Okay, and the six of wands is validation you've been looking for. Okay, the good marks, the success. And uh, this is success and achievement. That's what it says right here. So it says, uh, this card shows a beautiful spirit holding a golden victory wreath in acknowledgement of your achievements. Success is on its way. And you have had a sense of pride in what you've worked to accomplish. The achievement may be great. Outer success. Oh, here we go with my nose going again. Okay. Or it may be a deep inner change that you've been exerting a lot of effort towards. Enjoy this sense of accomplishment, but be careful not to rest upon your laurels. People expect outer triumph to bring great changes, but often there may still be inner work to do. Let yourself be open to victory on every level now. So again, like I said, it is a level of victory, but it isn't a 10, but it's making you go towards that 10. So in other words, Spirit is saying in their own very way, this is a message through this card that I'm getting, is not only victory is on its way, um... There's still work to be done. You're never done, right? Unfortunately. You know, you can't say, okay, that's it. I'm done. Not doing anything else. Oh, that's good. Uh, no, there's always something else to be done. There's always something else that's going to be popping up. I worked. I used the work your light uh, yesterday, and I'm going to use them again today. Okay, so you have the Pleiades, the Pleiad, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity, okay? 
So no surprise here, Pisces, that we get these. This one always speaks to me of uh, having, um, I've always saying, this is exactly how I see it when I see it. When we talk about bringing the vibrations higher on the planet, this is what I see. I literally see the planet like just, you know, going up. Uh, for some, oh God, you know, I can see religious people going, oh, this is the reaping. No, 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 not the reaping. Just a... Um, an, an, an image, uh, uh, quite a very vivid image of just the uh, being uplifted, okay, beyond um, what we've been thinking before, okay. So we're here to channel within ourselves, to understand ourselves better, but to also uplift humanity in the way they've been thinking, okay. And this one that says boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? Okay, and again, this is, I feel those two go hand in hand, and they do go hand in hand. The reason I think they do is because this is uplifting, and this is about keeping you down. Okay, so Spirit is definitely making a very clear message that you need to remove those shackles that are binding you and keeping you, like, stuck to the ground, like, that's that's really like people who are taking some out of you so that you're able to um, clear the path and start rising above, okay? Start lifting yourself up. And it's been about that the whole time. That's, that's the deeper message that goes on here with these readings. That is definitely what needs to be looked at, what needs to be um, checked out, okay? I can take a quick look. I don't think I've seen the boundaries one before, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take a quick look. Like I said, these are interesting to me because um, this is to create clear boundaries in your life. Okay, this could be friends, family, or work. Saying yes when you really mean no leads to resentment, which is the biggest energy drain ever. Okay, and you can do it a little bit, but it ends up being a lot. It never stays just a little bit. Okay, and it says it's it's when your boundaries are clear, others know where they stand, and you're able to give freely. Okay, and if you're not clear about those, this can cause confusion, resentment, and energetic cords to be planted. And that's not what we want, right? That's definitely not what we want. So... I'm trying to see if I can find play ads here. It's going to be easy to find. Oh, it's the last one. Okay. So this is a Pleiadian group, or a group of star being dedicated to raising the vibration of the planet. Ah, that's what I just said, right? And sharing new consciousness through creations and technology, which we have. Okay, so this is you creating the life you need. And, of course, we have technology to help. Okay, they've been incarnating on Earth since the near the beginning of humanity. So it says you have a soul, you may be a soul that has a double mission, to grow at soul level to raise the vibration of the planet. Okay, you have been called to write, speak, or channel. This is your sign to keep doing it. Your work is divinely guided. Of all the souls, Pleiadian, Pleiadians are the chattiest. <laughs> I must be one then. And so perhaps you have already started channeling some of this work into the third dimension. Thank for doing your part in a great plan. Your presence and unique light is needed. Okay? So for some of us, um, as I said yesterday as well, was it they were talking about you doing, um, was it about doing uh, work in the spiritual, spiritual work? This is, again, a sign that some of you should be doing your very own thing, okay? Could be with Reiki, could be with healing, could be with anything that interests you, okay? Could even be with Tarot. Okay, remember that. Okay. One more, one more. Trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. And you know what? It will. It does. So trust it. Trust yourself. 
you know what you're doing, okay? No surprise there. No surprise there. Okay, let's see what else we can get here. This is an affirmation. My thoughts are in harmony with my health. Love that. I want perfect health. I like feeling good. I enjoy my good feeling body. I have many positive memories of feeling good in my body. I see many people who are clearly in a state of good health and it is easy to see how much they are enjoying their good feeling bodies. When I think thoughts like these, I feel good. These thoughts are in harmony with a healthy body. <laughs> you notice how the healthy body, and again, this is 28. So this is a completion as well. I do feel that has to do with the boundaries card. It kept calling to me while I was reading it. And I felt that if you have the boundaries and you don't let people push you down into the dirt, you can actually rise above it, okay? Letting your vibrations rise will also help you with your body, give you a sense of victory. Trust in yourself to know what decisions to make correctly. I'm going to pull some tarot now, okay? So again, you have determination on your side and what you want to do and how you want to do it. Okay, I'm going to give these. Oh, these are stiff. They're hard to riffle, but okay. All right, spirit. Okay, so you have the Three of Coins. This is definitely spirit for me. The Three of Coins has always been the Three of Pentacles. This is teamwork. This is your assistance coming in. They're trying to definitely lead you to victory and to set those boundaries that we're talking about and uplift you, okay? To go where you need to go to learn what you need to do. So it's all about being assisted in this process. If you ever feel like you're alone, you really are not, okay? Keep reminding yourself of that. We've lived too long thinking we're completely alone, okay? And you also have the strength to say no. There is a strength card here coming in with a lion, okay? So know that you have the strength to say no, to set those boundaries, and to uplift yourself. You really do. It is within you. Sometimes it's hard because we want to please people, and when we please people, we're hurting ourselves, okay? Right. So, right here, you have the, uh, ooh, what is that? This is the Eight of Cups, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, 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 the Eight of Cups. So, with the Eight of Cups, you are definitely going on a brand new journey. No, this is a Nine of Cups. You've got the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. He looks way too happy for the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is going somewhere. Right, right. You have the Nine and the Ten of Cups. Wow. So, uplifting in this Double mission to channeling and uplifting humanity and accept your inner voice will always guide you correctly. Will guide you straight to this. And that's what Spirit is saying. It's going to guide you straight to happiness. Straight to the uh, to the, the nine and the ten of cups. Not just the nine. The nine and the ten. It's going to be personal fulfillment and wishes and fulfillment for everybody around you. Okay. This is how this is going to... Um, uplift humanity as well. This is like you and them. Everybody gets to um, to get something good from all of this, okay? It's not just you, it's everybody, okay? I, I, I want to say it's a double-edged sword, but it's not a sword, okay? It's, it's like you're getting one side of the coin and then the other side. It's like perfect harmony. You got the lover's cards. Okay, it's going to put you in harmony with health, with your relationships, with life. Things are going to move in a much better way. Okay, everything's going to harmonize with each other. It's like being in perfect tune. Very nice. 
I don't know. I'd like you guys to let me know in the comments below if that's what you're feeling, okay? That you feel that you've gone on a fresh new journey, something brand new that you've started, okay? That you're at the beginning of something spontaneous, of an adventure, you know, that you're starting to feel free in where you're going. Do you feel like you're leaping in the unknown or do you feel that everything's going to be okay? Do you feel guided? Okay, motivated. With the Magician, the card right beside it. Okay, setting your boundaries, working with spirit, having the strength. It's letting you know that you have everything that you need to move forward with the Magician. Everything that you have is within your reach, okay? You have your personal, coming into your personal power with the King of Swords. You know, somebody who is very much in charge of their thought, who cuts right through the truth of the matter, okay? Mastermind. Do you feel that you're start, starting to feel your own value? Okay, your assertiveness. Your assertiveness to put boundaries. You have boundary strength and assertive mind. So all of this is setting your intentions with your mind and putting, like, limits. And having determination. He is also, I like the fact that he's right in the middle. Because we were talking about determination this morning. And this king is the one that has so much determination. It's blinding. Okay. So this is very, very appropriate for this reading right now. The Six of Cups. Your inner voice reconnecting. Your childlike, tuning into your inner child for guidance, joy, support, reflection. Okay? So this is like reconnecting with childlike joys. And what, what lessons of the past can serve you now? Okay? It's all linked together. It's all linked together. Because it starts in childhood, and you have the High Priestess. I love the fact that we have all the major top arcanas coming out. You literally have the journey, the, ma the magic tools, and then the intuition following you, okay? It's all going in a series. It's in a row. I find that this is Spirit saying that things are going to start happening for you, okay? That the light has been provided for you, the Hermit. Things are coming in, okay? Things are definitely coming in for you, and you're figuring it out what's going. Remember that the Hermit is number nine in the Major Arcana, okay? What do we know about nine? It's a fantastic number. It's things coming to light, and really getting into your own, okay? Your, determin your determination is really got you where you needed to go and where you needed to be. It's played a big role in what's happening in your life right now. Practice speaking positively about other people and events, and especially the future. Nice. Okay. Right. Do like I do. Talk about the future. That. Like, it's something that's going to be magical. That is going to happen any day now, okay? Because it's true. The more you speak about it, the more you walk it, the more it becomes your truth, okay? And trust in divine order, you are being helped. Absolutely. We'll put that right here with the Three of Coins, the Three of uh, Pentacles, because that's absolutely what's happening to you. Let's check out the back of the cards. Let's not miss the beauty. This is like LED little lights. I love that one. This is, of course, is water, which is us, with the setting sun on it. Isn't it gorgeous? It looks like it's on fire. This is a fire sign with the water sign. A lot of what we've been feeling. A lot of the King of Wands. A lot about setting boundaries. King of Wands. Determination. Nine of Wands. Okay? We're doing the work. We're completing things. We're getting help. And we're also going on this brand new journey with all the tools that we need with intuition, okay? Reconnecting to joy with determination that is blinding us because we're so determined to get there. Okay, just don't be careful. Don't get caught too much inside of your mind, okay? You're well on your way to your very own wishes becoming the truth 
in your life today. But it's not just your wishes. It's wishes that's going to help other people as well. You may not realizing you may not realize just how much this is going to affect everything with you. Make sure to set your boundaries and say no when you need to. Make sure that you're always working at uplifting your energy. And remember that your thoughts are in harmony with your health. If your thoughts are bad, your health is going to start declining. This is absolutely correct. They are connected. Trust and accept that your inner voice is always guiding me correct, correctly because you're always getting help. You're never alone. You are well on your way to victory. You're not quite there yet, but you're definitely going to start seeing some changes and things that are going to happen. Make sure to keep your vibrations high. Always, always, always. So that's it for me, Pisces. This has been like a roundup from uh, Spirit, their last little say on this morning's reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you a hundredfold. I'm going to send you lots of love and light. I'm going to wish you a happy birthday because I think I forgot this morning. And I think you're fantastic. I will see you tomorrow. And stay safe, Pisces.